Hi there and welcome to Salise Aga Sagatoya's tutorial of drawing poles. And uh, keep in mind this is my way of drawing this, it's not the only possible no. Uh, but however, let's start. Uh, the first thing I think of when I draw paws is like where the paw pads go. Uh, and um, a good way of thinking that is to like have your own hand doing something like this, you know. Uh, something like this. And um, as you can see, um, it's pretty similar to how a wolf paws go because it's like an upside down heart, kind of, and then comes the pop pads, like this. But you understand the idea. Um, it's more like this. You see, it's pretty, pretty um, straight there. So, you see the similarities? It's like this. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, this part is like this part. This, there, those are those. As you can see here. So, yeah, that's basically one way to think how it might look like. And um, to move on to um, pulse from different angles. We can start with straight from, yeah, straight forward. So here, um, as you can see here, the wolves has, is their kind of having a thumb. No, humans have like, oh, it's bad, um, like this. Yeah, that's pretty shoddy, but this would be this. So yeah. And they have a little claw. But however, um, do these two lines, that's like the leg. And then you think like the fingers for like bubbles that are um, the toes. These ones are a little, a little smaller than these ones. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> and while you do this, they have claws. So do like this, kind of. Think, think it as rice, you know. And then you just put it there. Slightly bigger though, because it's as tiny as rice. Um, and yeah, then you string, strengthen these lines because these are the ones we're going to use. Uh, and then leave a space here because we're going to do the paw pads. You do like this to do the hair. I, do, I basically just do like this. Lines. Just so. It's nothing special. <clears throat> so, and then the paw pads comes here, this part. So, okay, uh, but we don't want to keep it as this because it doesn't look very good. Um, we do the, some kind of, um, we mark that the toes are going like straight there, like this. That's very hard lines. And then I do like, I, <clears throat> I strengthen the upper part there, but then I erase these ones because it doesn't look very good. How oh, it's better. So, that's how I do paws from straight, like this. And uh, to do it from the side, I prepared a wolf here uh, to begin with. Uh, so, here, here we go. Start like this, uh, as we did before with the leg, the thumb thingy. So, and then I do like this show where it goes. It's like, you can say a half four inch like this. 
you can think. Um, and uh, after I did that, I mark where the other uh, toes, whatever they are, toes, <clears throat> and then the claws. And here's another foot pad, and the other one. I'll take it again, a little more slowly. Here you see, I have the claws. And then uh, I do it more round there, because there's a foot pad. Then I do the hair again, down to there, because here's where the toes are, and here's more like the foot. And um, then I do it here again, but I stop here because here's the like toe and here's the foot thing. And yep, like that. And I tend to do that little line, but it's like this. Um, I personally do it because it makes me think it looks like softer, but it isn't a must though. Okay, now we have there and there, and um, how to think when it's like slightly from the side, you can take that a little fast, um, like this, here's the toe thing again, see it like goes like there, it's like this, and um, here's the pop hat again, think like an upside down heart, it's like this, oh that's bad. <laughs> okay, uh, like this more, and then you do these two lines like I've done here before, <clears throat> there, and then you can do a little hair like this because it overlaps it, okay, and then the other paw pads like I mentioned here, it's going to be straight here more or less, not all straight because it doesn't look natural, and so. I think them as like middle ones, like deer hooks, and the other one is slightly smaller, but still the same thought. Like this, and then the claws, just like this, but however you want to do them. And imagine they are like this, kind of, so depending on the angle it will look different. However, I'll keep doing this, and um, so. and after doing this and um, making the lines a bit clearer, it will look something like this. So, so um, <clears throat> and how to think about this. Um, how the anatomy goes there. The leg is like this, this. Um, and then we have the foot that is like this. So it bends here, it's here. And um, when it's done, it's done that. You all just work your way with the with the paw. And um, the toes are, as mentioned, just round like this. So it's nothing very hard to do. And keep in mind also that these toes, um, they are only visible from the inside, like if I do a paw here, real fast. Okay, uh, this shouldn't be visible from there, so it's only visible from here, from the inside as mentioned. Um, yeah, and like the foot is its own and the, like, the toes are also their own, and the leg is another one. It's this, this, this. Uh, that's um, more or less how we should think about that. Um, oh, and uh, about this part also, I may, I might as well shorten it a bit because it's really awkward. Um, so, yeah, and. Um, A little about how to think about the perspective and the claws, how they should bend, as I mentioned before. 
<clears throat> if I sketch up some holes here from different angles, one from the side, one from underneath, one from above, and one from um, from another unusual angle, like, no, that unusual would, yeah, from the back side or something. Yeah, that should work. Um, now that we have them, uh, I'll take, yeah, the color here to show you. Oh, I did the pause, the class here for some reason. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, when the, this is done, the claws, uh, as I mentioned, they are like this, um, seen from the side, shading, shading. Uh, they are sharp, like this, and uh, so, so they have also their own angles, um, here they are like this, more or less, not that long though, because, well, was that that long because they tear tear them down as they run. So, um, <clears throat> oh, she did it. So, um, yeah, here they are like just so. It's not. It's nothing very special though. But it can be good to keep in mind that they bend differently depending on. The perspective. <clears throat> so it's like here they are more bent. Oh, they are more bent here than they are here because you see them straight there. Here. Um. Yeah. Uh, also, how to think when they are like. We can take this also because. Sometimes you need to do this. Um, how they bend, how much they can bend, and so. The wolf paw can't bend more than this at, at this direction. It isn't physically possible for them. But in this angle, they can be bend. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, they can bend like this, more or less. Which is pretty much. Uh, yeah, so keep that in mind as well so you don't overdo it because if you do like this, that's really awkward. Yeah, you can't really do this. So, yeah. However, <clears throat> uh, yeah, but I think I covered much of what I wanted to say. Oh, I maybe should take the uh, hint pulse as well. Uh, if I got time to do that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll take the hint pulse real quick. You see, they go like this. It's the same method, more or less. I do like this as the foot still. And I do the toes or whatever this and like this and then you just make them a little round and there you have it so yeah hope I could um, help you with this little tutorial uh, as I mentioned this isn't the only way but it's my way of doing it so yeah <clears throat> no need to mention that at least and uh, yeah I hope I could help and uh, have a really nice day.